Hey everyone, this is Lucky7DX, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Trading Card Game. The last episode we finished off the Rock Club by taking on the Gene. In this episode, as you can hear, it's time for a tournament. I changed this deck around just a little bit in between episodes. Um, I decided to not have so many Diglets and Dug Trios, and, you know, we'll start showing off some new Pokemon. So how about some Sand Shrews and Sand Slashes? I was tempted to go for the Rhyhorn, but they have a really high energy cost, so I was like, eh, I'll save that for the next gym. Uh, I put, took out the Professor, I put in a bill, because people are like, why don't you have four bills? And I'm like, you know what? Good point. Also, I, got, I added a third gust of wood, took out a potion, um, and then uh, double close energy. Also, I took out a Tauros. I mean, if, it, if there's not room for the Tauros, there's not room for the Tauros. Simple as that. Um, so let's give this deck a name. Uh, not anything creative. I couldn't really come up with anything funny, so whatever. We're just going to call this the Rainy Earl deck. Wow, that was just taking me forever to say that because... I can't type on a stupid keyboard like this. I hate stupid when you have like to type things on like old Game Boy Advance games to just use like do it manually. So annoying. Anyway, mini rant over. Um, we're gonna go over here because it's Ronald the douchebag. Hey Ronald. Hey Rob Dell, what's going on? Um, so basically the prize is level 60 Mewtwo, and he's like, we're gonna get it, but of course not. Um, kind of obvious who the champ is gonna be. Now how it works usually for these tournaments is um, the first two opponents will be random people from the clubs. I think they're, it's always random, so. You can play any trainer from any of the clubs, not any of the club leaders or anything, but any random trainer. And then the third one, well, it's probably obvious. Um, I'm going to be mostly using this deck. I might modify it slightly and add some different cards in just to get some unique stuff going. We'll see what happens. For now, we're playing this guy. Are you from the Rock Club? Did I, didn't I just play you? You look familiar. Um, who is this? Who is this? Who is this? It's Oh, it's a Psychic Club member. Okay, well, that's interesting. I'm uh, not going to be going there for a while, but we're going to be playing some ghosts. As you can hear, we do have the ex awesome epic battle music going on here, so... Fun times! Uh, what's gonna happen? We have a Machop, and we have a Machop, and we have a Squirtle. Um, I think I'm gonna be playing a Machop here. Uh, I'm gonna just put one out. Uh, you know what? I'll put both out. Machop, very good starting Pokémon. Oh my god. Am I, is this really gonna be that easy? Now, you can't lose any of these matches. Um, ho ho! Hello, Blastoise. Oh my god, it's even weak to... This is just gonna be sad. This is gonna be sad. Oh, we got Hitmonchan as well. Hitmonchan is an amazing Pokémon. Uh, lots of health, can easily get a nice starting attack in there. Uh, both Hitmonchan and Machop are actually really good, so... Um, if you just play new basic Pokémon, we're gonna kill this guy in one turn, and... <laughs> maybe we get the tournament and... Oh my god. He didn't even play... You know... Let's move on, Ghost Dude. We'll, well, we'll see the Ghost Dude later in the game, when he actually hopefully puts up a fight. For now, I don't really care to shove decks, I'm just here to get through this tournament and call it a day. So hey, maybe this will be a one-episode tournament. That'd be kind of nice. I have a safe trip home, you loser. Anyway, who are you? Uh, Jennifer, wasn't she? No, she's not the grass deck person. Um, I don't remember. Oh, she might be the... Oh, oh, I think I know who she is. Uh, well, no reason to change my deck. Uh, she has a Pikachu deck. We're gonna be going to, um... It's, she's from the Lightning Club, which actually we'll be seeing here really soon, because I'm actually planning on doing the Lightning Club very soon. Um, as in, like, right after this. Now, oh, we have a Hitmonchan. Um, now the thing about uh, that I... Ha now I have to actually explain this beforehand. Um, be very careful because one of her Pokémon actually has a Fighting Resistance. Um, that being said, all my these Pokémon are weak to water, so I kind of got a bit of a mismatch. Well, it's interesting because I have her weakness and she has my weakness at the same time, so... Um, it's going to be interesting to see how this turns out. That being said, because I have a Hitmonchan, I'm not that worried about her stupid Pikachus, because I can probably one-shot whatever she has out here. Okay, no I can't, but... Uh, this Hitmonchan is gonna, just going to tear through her team. Okay, yeah, four bills, probably a good idea. Oh, we have the war turtle and everything. She has no chance here. This is this game is mine. This Pikachu is just going to go down hard. Uh, so yeah, she has a deck of all Pikachus. Now, some of these actually include surfing Pikachus um, and flying Pikachus, which are pretty interesting Pokemon. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and charge up this uh, war turtle here. We've seen from other matches how potent war turtles can be. That being said, she might not even last long enough to really show it off once again. Uh... Not really expecting much to happen. Oh well, she got the Serpent Pikachu out. Serpent Pikachu, two water energies can do 30 damage. However, it still is a lightning Pokemon and it still will get killed in two shots. We have a Blastoise. Hell, okay, you know, I can't I can't just let this go without showing up Blastoise on my own here. That's just, it just, it's just not cool. So we're going to take another jab. That thing's going to take 40 damage. Please play another Pokemon so I can show this off. Oh, well, maybe she will. She gets this Pokeball, and she does, so she's going to get a... Oh, she should have got a Flying Pikachu. That would have been her best bet, but she's just going to get this lame promo Pikachu. She's going to do Surf, so she will be able to Revenge Kill my Hitmonchan, which is kind of impressive, actually. But, uh... Too little too late. Now, 
I need another water energy. So what I'm going to do is, um, let's see, it feels, no, I'm not going to use a computer search yet. Screw that, screw that, screw that. I'm going to play the Blastoise, though. Um, well, let's jab, finish up the Surfing Pikachu. I think this match is pretty much mine at this point, um, but, okay, we got another Fighting Energy. You don't need Fighting Energies, you need Water Energies, please. Uh, Thundershock, can paralyze. This Pikachu is actually not bad, because it does have a pretty strong paralyzing move, and it does do, um, it does have quite a bit of health. Uh, do I, I can just kill off of matchup pretty easily, but, uh, oh, let's pull the Blastoise out here. Worst comes the worst, I can search for, oh, there we go, there's an energy. Actually, you know what, I can have some fun here, because what I can do is I can do this, and then, because of its Pokemon power, I can, uh, go ahead and discard a switch and a fighting energy, grab another water energy, and then attach the water energy right to it as well, charge up Hydro Pump, won't be able to kill it anyway, but who cares, it's Blastoise, that's his power, he can equip multiple water energies at once, and this Pikachu is going to die, I don't care if you're weak to me, oh, well, okay, there's a flying Pikachu, and a Surfing, what the heck? Okay, so now it's a good thing I have this Blastoise up, because that flying Pikachu is resistant to fighting, meaning it would, doesn't have a weakness to fighting, it would basically just get in my way, it actually does not have a weakness at all, actually, which is pretty interesting, um... I don't think anything she has can finish off Blastoise. If not, I have a Machop on the field. I don't, why did I attach the Machop? Weird. Um, but Hydro Pump is going to say goodbye to you, Pikachu. Goodbye, Pikachu. You had fun. Oh, another one RG. I think I can one-shot whatever she has here. Oh, well, that's going to not be a problem. Although it can paralyze, I think. I think it has Thundershock. Yeah. Flying Pikachu uh, has Thundershock. Oh, damn it. Has Thundershock, and then for three, I think there's three colorless energies. Um... It has a move where, let's check it, um, it can, do, 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 oh yeah, okay, so if Tails does no damage, but if Heads, it's, it basically acts like agility, so yeah, uh, this thing can be really annoying if you come to the Lightning Gym with an all-fighting deck, so it's a good thing right now I don't, because this Blastoise is going to tear it apart limb from limb, uh, right now this paralyzation worries me though, but, oh, my chop can't even one shot, okay, I need to keep this thing alive. Uh, please don't die. Okay, good. Didn't get the paralyzation. I can just go ahead and finish off an epic hydro pump, and all will be well with the world. Uh, Diglett can charge up. Blastoise can charge up. It is nice when you can equip multiple energies and massive hydro pump to the face. Goodbye, flying Pikachu. You were a good person, but now you're dead. Man, I like. Okay, I was like, okay, I'll throw in some stand shoes. I can show those off. I haven't even gotten one yet. It's a sad day for Sandshrew. That being said, the best playing Pokemon definitely are Hitmonchan and Machop for basic Pokemon. Those things just tear things apart. And hey! It's Ronald! Yay! Um, let's go ahead and kick his ass. Uh, for our deck, well, I'm gonna go ahead and do this just in case. Just gonna save the game, because I don't want to have to redo all this. So, Ronald, Ronald, Ronald. Ronald, 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 Ronald. I kicked your ass so fast last time. Please give me a challenge now. Alright, what do we have? A Magikarp, a Machop, the trio is not going to help us out. Okay, now this is a bit of an interesting situation. I'm going to throw out the Squirtle to paralyze a bit while I sip a Machop here, and maybe I get the Machoke at some point. I mean, I have enough Computer Search in my deck. Don't need that deck trio, so that's already one card to get rid of for Computer Search. Well, he is going to set up as well. He's just going to um, use Kangaskhan. This Pokemon, obviously, a lot of health, can also draw cards one energy, and it takes four energies to attack, though, so... I might want to get this Machop out pretty quickly, but I'm going to take this time as well to start setting up. I don't want this to... I don't want to rush in here and get swarmed. Actually, I should see what he has on his bench. Oh, he's just going straight to, to uh, charge up the Kangaskhan. That's surprising. Um, oh, a Hitmonchan. Okay, um, we're going to go for the Hitmonchan instead then. That thing can tear stuff apart. Uh, he has a couple of Magmars and a Scyther. Ooh, Scyther has the fighting resistance. Gotta be careful about that. Uh, that's going to give Hitmonchan some trouble. However, I'll keep paralyzing this thing and get to stop drawing cards. That way I can try to keep an advantage here. Uh, okay, he's just going to charge with his Magmar. It's not going to be a problem for me, a water Pokemon. I should try to keep this Squirtle alive if I can. Uh, that would be very handy. Or if I can get the Gyarados. A Gyarados would be pretty epic right now. Uh, that being said, I only have one in my deck. Uh, I will need more energies in order to get a Gyarados going here, though. Okay, he's also charged with the Scyther. That's kind of worrisome. Um, I definitely have the one energies now for a Gyarados. Probably gonna want to try to get that, um, not sure what I want to attach. Uh, we'll throw it on Hitmonchan. Uh, um, you know what? I'm gonna actually go ahead and take this initiative to actually just finish this thing off with a special punch! My punches are special! Haha! <laughs> 80 damage because Kangaskhan's weak to it. Take that. 
Okay, now he's gonna bring up the Scyther, that's gonna be a problem to hack through, but it's not charged up yet, all he can do is Sword Stance, which will double its Slash's power, that's gonna hurt if it hits, but it needs to hit first. Of course I get the Machoke, that's not gonna really help me much. I'm gonna save these water energies because I don't know what I want to charge up with it, I'm just gonna go ahead and hack away at this thing with uh, Special Punch. Only does 10 damage things resistance, which is gonna mean it's gonna be a long time to kill it. Oh crap, he has a double fill its energy. Oh, damn it. Um, that's bad. Right, my choke's not gonna do as much help here. I'm gonna have to really rely on Squirtle. This is not gonna be a pretty situation now. Uh, I need to get a Gyarados or a Wartol here right now, or I'm in trouble. Come on, Ronald. Ronald, I'm not gonna let you beat me. Don't remove energies, you douchebag. Alright, well it isn't only a 4 prize match as opposed to a 6 prize match, so... I need to find something to kill this thing quickly or I'm in trouble. I've already said that multiple times, but... Uh, Macho Machoke is definitely an option. I need this paralyzation, please. Ah, damn it. Please don't one-shot my Squirtle. I need Squirtle to stay alive somehow. Okay, Slash is not gonna kill in one hit, but... I am going to need something. Okay, Fighting Energies. Uh, the Machoke's not going to help me much. But it's the best I have right now, so... Okay, got the Paralyzation. Okay, I can finish... I can Revenge Kill off Machoke, at least. That Machoke's going to be able to last me quite a while, so... That's going to be a start, at least. Um, give me some more Energies. Oh, Sandshrew! That might not be bad. Uh, but Machoke is definitely the option I want right now. Please Paralyze! Alright, Squirtle, stall for your life, Squirtle! Bubble for your life! Bubble for your life! Oh crap, you had aw, oh, scoop up, that's just not even fair. Uh, that returns uh, a Pokemon to your bend or to your hand, uh, loses all its energies and but also all its damage counters, so basically that was a good play by him. Now I need to revenge kill with Machoke, which he can actually, because 50 damage is what Machoke can do. So Boom, Crychop. Crychop does 50 minus the number of damage counters on you, so the more damage you get, the worse it's gonna be. I can start using submission after this though. That thing is going to wreck through his team. Uh, Crychop in general is just going to wreck through his team. I have a potion to heal whatever he sends out, so... Unfortunately, he's going to send out this... Oh no, he's... I thought he was going to send out the Scyther, but no. He's going to try to stall with Smokescreen on Magmar. Or Poison. Poison will be bad. Don't poison me, please. Good. Alright, I can hit this thing hard of Crychop. And then next turn... Uh, something. Alright, I, I need to see what I'm going to get these water energies on. I don't know yet. Uh... Both Squirtle or Magikarp can be good, depending on what, if I get a Gyarados or a Wartuttle first. I'll save these energies and decide what happens there. I think I'm, I don't think Machoke's going to be able to carry me the rest of this match. Not that Scyther on the bench. Yeah, see, he's going to retreat and use this thing to stall. If he gets that Swords Dance off, I'm going to hurt a lot. Okay, I definitely have the water energies to charge up either of them. I really want to start charging up something. You know what? I really want that Gyarados if I can get it. I just don't know if I can get it or not. Oh, I don't know. I want to pick the wrong one. Well, we'll start charging up Magikarp just in case, because he needs the water energies more. Uh, this is only going to do 20 damage a pop, but that will kill it in four turns. If I get desperate, I can go for the submission. Uh, if he actually uses another double colorless energy. Okay, I have another potion. That's good. Uh, I don't know where I want to put that one other one on. I don't want to charge this up and have him use a gust of wind and just kill off my Magikarp. That's the problem with Gyarados is he can kill Magikarp off really quickly, and then bad things will happen. Okay, he's not going to be able to do anything with that. Magikarp might be able to carry me here. That would be pretty interesting if I could do that. Um, I should have just gone for the submission here, but no. I don't want to risk my Machoke. Submission does 30 damage to myself as well, which is not a good thing. Uh, he's not going to be able to do anything with that. Okay, I think I might be, I might be safe here. I may very well be safe. Uh, well, I might as well charge a Water Energy on Squirtle just in case, and cry chop. Watch it, watch the gear dust be right here. We're gonna pick, we're gonna pick this one here. That's just a chop. okay. Uh, Scyther comes out. Another Scyther, really? 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 You're gonna do this to me, man? You're gonna do this to me, man? You're breaking me. You're breaking. Breaking, breaking, breaking. All right. Well, same, ver same verse, same as the first. We'll just go ahead and cry chop this thing to death. Never send him a choke out versus a freaking Scyther, it's just not going to ever help you out very much. Um, oh, why did I... Okay, why not? Uh, well, that works, I can use submission next turn anyway, so... The energy needed to go somewhere, whatever. 
Uh, Metro doesn't need- well, Machamp doesn't even need that many energies, so we're all good. Uh, if I can get Machamp, that'd be pretty cool. Or we can get double colorless energy. I'll throw this on... I don't even care. Don't even care anymore. This match is over. Didn't get to shut up, uh... Didn't get to shut up Gyarados. Believe me, I will at some point, though. Uh, so, submission. Goodbye, Mr. Ronald. You put up a fight, you scared me there for a little bit, but I have my choke, and it is cool. Okay, it only does 20 damage. I lied! Uh, so yeah, not too bad. Kinda wish I got one of those computer searches, that'd be nice. And hey, this is actually the perfect length for an episode! Hooray! Uh, so there we go, we will get our prize card. It will be a level 60 Mewtwo, which is this card right here. This thing is a great psychic type. Definitely recommend getting it before you tackle any of the psychic, uh, uh, sort of, you know, the, gym, the clubs that are weak to psychic, which are three of them, actually. Um, uh, you can use this to get energies back from your discard pile, and then use it to use St Cyburn here, which does quite a bit of damage. I mean, not as much as Kadabra as we see, but uh, considering you can basically use one energy to charge up fully in, like, the you know, middle to late game, it's a pretty good, like, you know, end game sort of Pokemon. So, yeah, with that, we're going to be doing the next gym, which is going to be the Lightning Club. Because I have plenty of Flame-type Pokemon now, so why not? Uh, that being said, uh, water, not a good idea. So water, you guys can come back later. Uh, I don't want to be using stuff that's weak to, uh, why? Okay, here's what I want to get. Why is Gyarados weak to grass when it has a humongous, like, uh, you know, lightning? Humongous weakness to lightning and no weakness to grass actually because water and flying is weak to grass in this game. What the hell, developers? You make no sense. Um, alright, what are we gonna throw in here? Well, we might as well bring out the bigger guns of, uh, our. Well, we can actually go. We'll go with Cubone and Marowak for now. Uh, didn't really get a shot of Diglett, so I'll keep those in. Didn't really get a shot of any of these, actually. Um, kinda disappointing. But I do want to use stuff that have that lightning resistance, because that'll make a, uh, this lightning club thing go by a lot easier. Uh, so we got the resistance there, we have... Well, I mean, a lot of these folks have resistance. I'll bring out Rhyhorn and Rhydon for the end, but for now we'll just bring out these ones and show them off. Alright guys, I'm back. I decided that I was taking way too long to up this deck, so I just cut and made it uh, off camera. So, here we go. I decided to actually go with uh, Caterpie, Metafied, Butterfree. It's going to be a grass fighting deck. Uh, I know we've seen grass a ton, and probably after this I'm not going to be using grass for quite a while, but um, I didn't want to use fire, because I've already used, I've already shown off pretty much everything for fire. I haven't even shown off no King yet though, so I figured this would be better, because well, what haven't I even shown off in fire? I've pretty much shown off everything that's important in fire right now. Um, and lightning I'm going to save for next time. We already did water, and I'm going to have so much psychic in the future, I'm not going to bother with that now. So fighting in grass it is. Uh, Decided to go with the Caterpie Metapod Butterfree line. Hopefully I can get another uh, Metapod, that'd be great. I can actually add that in yet, but I also have the Nidoran, Nidorino, Nidoran King. There's a lot of uh, three-stage Pokemon in this over here, so that's all I have for the grass. Uh, I do love my Nidoran King, I do want to show that off. Uh, three Diglets, because even though they have low HP, with the Lightning Resistance, they are invaluable in this one, because two Fighting Energies they can do 30 damage a pop, which is amazing. Uh, so that's always a good idea. Add the Cubo and Marowak line in. I'll throw in Sand Shrew, Sand Slash at some point, switch it around. Also the Rhyhorn, Rhydon. Um, I do have the Hitmonchan as well, because this thing is freaking amazing, and I want to keep it anyway. And I still intend to show up the Zwigglypuff at some point, so, or the Zwigglytuff, so we're going to keep that, uh, we're going to throw those people, those people in here. Because there's really not anything else worth throwing in on the normal side. I wanted to, you yeah, why not, we'll do that. Uh, in terms of energies, we'll just do it like this, and have two double colorless energies. Kind of a bit low on the grass side, but at the same time, a lot of my Pokemon here um, can use, uh, at least the middle Reynos here, can actually use this double colorless uh, to their advantage, so... And Butterfree even can use, you know, just a double colorless attack, so I don't need the grass as much. So that would be that, um, we'll go ahead and change the name to something that I'll figure out next time. Uh, and right now, this is Lucky7DX signing out, I will see you guys next time where we take on the Lightning G Oh wait, did I actually get, ever pick up that pack? Did I ever pick up the rock pack? I forget. Did I? I think I did, right? I did, okay. Good. So in that case, this is Lucky Zone DX signing out once again. Um, yeah. We beat a tournament! Yay! Uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.